Hey trumpet players, today we're going to talk about trumpet variants. Okay, what is trumpet variance and what are the swings, I call them, that every trumpet player is subject to, right? I don't know of any professional trumpet player, at least that I've played with and talked with, that hasn't experienced the ups and downs of trumpet playing. It can be pretty brutal at times. One day you think you got it. Your range is together, your tone is together, your tonguing's together. It seems like you can play anything and you have all kinds of endurance. The next day is completely different, right? It may feel like you're playing on somebody else's lips. Um, it just feels like totally foreign to you, like you've maybe never even picked up the horn before. That's how bad it can be. All right, maybe I'm exaggerating a little bit. But still, the swings of every trumpet player, and nobody is immune to this. Like I said, I don't know one trumpet player who doesn't complain about his chops or his lack of uh, endurance or tone or something from day to day. So there are a lot of things that can contribute to this. And one of the main ones is overplaying. So maybe you've got a hard gig and you've blew, you blew your brains out for four hours and you were playing really high and maybe a little bit too loud because maybe you couldn't hear yourself on the gig and now your chops are a little bit destroyed and puffy. So the next day when you go try to touch your horn and get some sound, all you get is air balls. Well, everybody, trump every, tr everybody, every trumpet player knows what I'm talking about. So one thing that can contribute to that is overplaying and overblowing. The other thing that can contribute to variance is not enough sleep. And as you get older, like me, you find that the less sleep you get, the tougher it is to play the next day. So it goes without saying, make sure you get plenty of sleep. And that combats the puffy, tired lips because your body has more energy and your lip tissue has more elasticity and gets good rest in between your playing sessions. So that goes without saying. The other thing that can contribute to trumpet variance is playing with a lot of pressure. And that's a whole nother subject. So there are a lot of good videos online already about the subject of playing with too much pressure. Um, that being said, you have to use pressure. You have to create a seal on your lips. And I've gone over this in other videos. So what is too much pressure? Well, that's a touchy subject and uh, that's just something you're going to have to figure out. You know, you're going to want to not bring the horn towards your face too much as you play higher and cut off the circulation to your lips because then you could get, um, once you cut off the circulation to your lips, they get puffy, they get tired really quick because there's no blood going to them to replenish the lip tissue and then you're going to get into some problems. So those are three things that contribute to what I call trumpet variance. What can you do to combat this? Well, first of all, I think we all have to accept trumpet variants, right? Your progress kind of looks like this, right? You'll be on a you'll be on a slow upswing and all of a sudden you take a nosedive and everything just bottoms out, right? You've been playing, things feel pretty good, you're getting better, and then all of a sudden it just doesn't feel right doesn't feel good you get tired really fast your range comes down a few steps and that's usually when a lot of trumpet players quit I know as a youngster I did I got so frustrated I just quit I would practice and it seemed like everything got worse because I pressed a lot right so as I was playing I was uh, being kind of detrimental to my lips and I was getting really tired and and that's another story so all I can say is stick with it because you will have, it's like you'll have mountains and valleys as you go through 
your trumpet, you know, practice through the year, right? But overall, you're going to start here and eventually be higher, just as long as you're persistent and consistent with your practicing. All I can say is stick with it. You're going to have rough times. Things are not going to work out. Even when you're practicing and you're going, I'm practicing four hours a day, but I'm not just seeing, I'm not seeing the results. All I can say is learn from your practice sessions. Maybe you're playing too much. Maybe you're not resting enough. It could be a number of things, but all I can say is stick with it because your progress is going to look like a stock chart, right? There's down and ups and, but overall, over time, you're going to go low to high. You're going to get better. It's just going to be a bumpy road in between. That being said, stick with it, keep the trumpet faith, and you'll get there.